Hello, welcome. This is New Vision TV. I am Ruth Naseje. Unlike most jobless youth in the country who ask helplessly for government to help them, those in Lira are moving on, paying a little fee to get skills which they can use to earn and start their life plans. They've turned up in hundreds to start acquiring marketable skills. <laughs> An overwhelming number of youths, most of them young mothers, school dropouts, have thronged Lira district headquarters to get formal skills training. This was after an application by Prince Edward Chimbugwe, the founder of Prince Chimbugwe Foundation, to train the youth at a minimal fee. These youth are to attain training in hairdressing, driving, mechanics, tailoring, and garment cutting, among others. Filled with grief, some of these youths share their past experiences and their aspirations up to the training. Dolly a team, a single young mother, expressed gratitude for the program which has come to help the youth, especially young mothers like her who lost hope. I'm so happy for Prince Kibuba Foundation for initiating this program because uh, as young people, we have been facing a lot of challenges, especially the mothers and uh, the dropouts, but this I see it as an opportunity for us to, to, to really benefit a lot from this program. My name is Auma Vicky. I came from um, uh, Baragole, we went to join a division. Uh, since 2014, I was in S2, Senior 2, but lack of the money made me to drop out of the school. Because my parents cannot afford money to support me. We are doing tailoring as a project given by Peace Foundation to, to endeavor the youth who, are, who has nothing to do in the villages, youth who, who are just who got brought out from schools, early marriages, and those who have no money and have no hope to go anywhere. The director, Prince Edward Chimbugwe Foundation, said that the youth only need. A mindset. The condition of the youth in the entirely in Uganda is the same. The youth need mind setting. That's why we, we have already invited the Director of National Guidance to come here and we have a capacity building in mind setting. Most of the youth they fear to come here for the training and yet this is the training which can make them also to compete in the labor force. We are targeting school leavers and school dropouts. But at the same, even those who don't have any skill, or those who, those who didn't qualify often in senior six and senior seven, the senior, uh, senior four and senior six, they are also welcome. Other stakeholders who are working with Prince Edward Chimbugwe to have this youth acquire the necessary skills include the Office of the Prime Minister, Lira District Local Government, among others. <laughs> I'm glad you're still watching, and in our Pearl of Africa series, we take a look at the Ugandan giraffe. It is the tallest land mammal in the world. It moves with its neck held high above the savanna plantation and its long legs laying through the woods. It's called the Rothschild giraffe, also known as the Ugandan giraffe. Let's take a look. The Rothschild giraffe is the tallest land animal in the world, measuring up to 6 meters in height when fully matured. They can weigh up to 2,800 pounds, with the males weighing more than the females by several hundred pounds. Since it is known as the Ugandan giraffe, there are several features that distinguish it from other giraffes. They have white socks up to their knees, five horns on their heads, Two of them are in the same place, but four other giraffes, they are at the top of their head. Their exceptional height allows them to eat leaves and shoots located much higher than other animals can reach, though the much effort is exerted on the long tongues that pull leaves from the trees. A giraffe is said to live up to 25 years. Here in Uganda, the best places to see these giraffes are Machison Falls Park, Chidepo Valley Park, and Lake Mburo, and not forgetting the Uganda Wildlife Education Center. I 
And that's all we had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch all our news updates on your mobile phone, on your desktop, on your tablet, and anywhere on the go. I am Ruth Naseje. <laughs>